Hello, my dear subscribers, viewers, fans, or however you might entitle yourself. I personally like to call you guys my loyal listeners. I make this video a little bit out of sequence. It's not... It was not planned, it's certainly not scripted, as you might be able to tell. Um, a reason why I make this video is to inform you about stuff that's going on in my life right now. Um, the problem is, right now, that... My health is declining. The problem with that is that I can't rightfully call in sick at work because there are already quite a few sick co-workers and my company is kind of struggling to do stuff as is. So if more people call in sick there will be even more stress for the rest of the co-workers. So, I've decided to not call in sick, even though I would be able to. I do have a doctor's note saying that I shouldn't work for a while. Um, but there are a few ramifications with that basically means I can I can do my shift my shifts are usually um, five to eight hours depends which uh, combination of patients I have the problem is this when I get home I'm usually totally beat And the reason for that is that either I have to take a good dose of, as you can see, if it focuses, ibuprofen. Or when I have the next day off, then because I can't take these when I have to work the next day, because they impair my ability to drive for up to 12 hours, which is this stuff. It's Tilidine. Well, this particular one is called Valerone and Retard, but the active ingredient is Tilidine. Uh, pretty, pretty strong painkiller. Uh, I'm experiencing pain in my left shoulder why I did have surgery a few years back um, in addition to that my spine and the height of my chest hurts and my lower left ribcage in the back every time I take a breath it it's just painful um, so I've decided to, to do all this doctor stuff that's needed in January. I have applied for a week of vacation in January. I hope that I get it. Otherwise I'll just, because that's a time in January we, our company will hopefully be off better. Um, we will, uh, I, I will call in sick if I don't get the vacation time because I will need time to get stuff sorted with the doctors. Um, but that also means a few other things. And that means that I know I promised I would try to produce as much as I can before the year is done. And the problem there is 
that I now see that I will not be able to keep that promise. I'm sincerely sorry for that. But it's just, I sit here and when I have taken up to 1,200 ibuprofen or one tildene, uh, for any of you who have had experience with strong painkillers, know that they make they make you tired, you can't concentrate, um, stuff like that. And so I can't uh, really do stuff. And the, the worst part about it is I do have to, wait a second, this, someone messaging me, oh, just my phone provider telling me that my mobile data has run out, I don't really care, and because of the pills I take, my stomach is also irritated most of the time, so I have to take this stuff, Iberogast, which is, um, Let's see if it can focus. It's basically for stomach and intestine problems. Um, and for the cough that I have, so that I can at least sleep, I take paracodine, which is it doesn't actually help the cough, it, it doesn't cure it, but uh, it stops the, the urge to cough so that I can at least sleep. Um, even though even that doesn't always work. It, even though it takes the recommended dosage of 20 drops, it doesn't, sometimes just doesn't work. Um, my coughs are sometimes pretty slimy, but most of the time they're dry. I, I have a fucking annoying dry cough, which is really bad. My doctor, personally, my GP has run out of options, which is a reason why he gave me this stuff, because no matter what he prescribed to me, um, it uh, just didn't work. He prescribed me all kinds of painkillers and antibiotics and I have no idea what. Uh, muscle relaxants were among the stuff he gave me. Um, and that stuff seriously just didn't work. So he has now referred me to a specialist, which I will call tomorrow. Um, yeah. I will hope that he can help me and I will certainly keep you guys up to date but um, my pain is uh, it's it's just not very nice um, what can I say other than maybe I hope that you like my little overlay here, my little pip boy overlay. Um, but yeah. I, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell you. The only thing that I hope that you understand is that I will try to produce when I can, but right now I can't. I've been living with this pain for three weeks now. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Even today, I couldn't get through the day without taking 800 ibuprofen. The pain didn't go completely away in my shoulder but at least went down to a manageable level 
I don't want to take high dosages, uh, like over a thousand, because ibuprofen also has a side effect that it can um, cause your stomach lining to break. Well, that's oversimplifying things, but basically what uh, happens is um, the mucus that protects your stomach lining, uh, the production of that gets uh, reduced when you take ibuprofen and other kinds of medication. And so your stomach acid can actually attack your stomach directly. Um, if you take it in a too high dosage without stomach protection medicine, which I have run out of. And uh, yeah. So that's a little update video just to let all of you know what's going on right now. And I hope you understand. I really hope you understand. Especially you, my lovely patrons. <laughs> but I just don't know. I'm running myself ragged at work. And when I come home, I have to take painkillers just to uh, be able to rest. Because otherwise I lay down and I can't sleep because of pain. <laughs> and even if I try to record when I come home I'd doze off when I sit here not completely sleep because the pain will wake me up eventually but I'd doze off because I'm too beat from work and then I take this stuff or this stuff and this stuff and that just fucks with my body. So, anyhow, I hope you understand. And I will keep you posted. I love you all.